hello and welcome back and Merry Christmas because I'm filming this and it could get posted on Christmas. Today I'm just going to do a little get ready with me. I'm going to be filming a video after this. I'm going to do like kind of my current favorite products. So if you want to see that, subscribe. I thought I would just do a little chit chat get ready with me situation. It is pretty much the end of 2022 and let's just let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about goals for 2023 and just life in general. All right, so I'm just going to use the Rare Beauty tinted moisturizer because like literally it's just Mike and I today and all I'm doing is like cooking and hanging around the house, so I don't really need to look any I don't really need to be fancy or anything. I just need something. Um, I've been in Tennessee for a full year and if you saw like my update, it's been a rough one, well, not like a rough year. It has not really been like a rough year in that sense. It's just been, I don't know, like a, a weird year. I guess you can say I'm just still getting adjusted to living in a different state. But with that being said, um, pretty much like this month I've, really just come to the realization that I need to stop being such a negative Nancy all the time because I, I, I am. And I decided that I wanted to really try and like set some, some goals and some things for 2023. So one thing about me is I am not a New Year's resolution person at all. I think I don't think I've really ever set New Year's res resolutions because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna break them. Oh, they're not gonna happen. Like, I'm just like, I'm not gonna do it. But I decided that I'm gonna do it this year. Like, not call it New Year's resolutions, just call it like, you know, goals. Call it what it is, which is goals. And I put in my phone just like a little checklist of things that I feel like are definitely achievable as long as I stay on track. <laughs> and one of those things is just to make myself uncomfortable. Like I need to get out of my comfort zone. I need to try different things. And to be honest, I feel like moving out of like the state that you grew up in, like your home. And I think that is getting out of your comfort zone a hundred percent, but just like little things, you know, like I want to actually take a ballet class or like a dance class of some sort. Um, I used to dance when I was like really, really little, like I'm talking like, you know, like five and then I quit. My, my mom was a dancer, my cousins are dancers, my aunt danced, so everybody in my family danced except for me. I'm gonna be 31 on the 27th of this month. Crazy. So I'm trying to look for adult dance classes or like more so I really just want to do like ballet. I don't really want to do like, what the fuck is under my eyes? Is that a freckle? Um, I don't want to do like a jazz or a hip hop. Not that, not that I don't think I would like it, but I feel that I just want to do ballet. So I want to try like classes. I feel like doing classes as an adult is like, I don't know, like kind of like underrated, like just go for it, just do it, you know? And that's what I want to try and do because originally I was going to just like, I was like, oh, I'll sign up for a new gym. And because my gym is like really, really small with like, um, limited equipment and everything and I was like oh I'll just sign up for a new gym so I have two gyms to go to and then I was like really thinking about it and I was like I feel like that's a little silly because the other gym that I would sign up was like 40 minutes away and I was doing Pilates in the summer and I liked it I was going to club Pilates but it was so expensive for only four classes and the location I was going to is 40 minutes away from where I live and then the class was only like, you know, 50 minutes. So I would be driving 40 minutes there for a 50 minute class and driving 40 minutes back. And I'm just like, ugh. So with that being said, I wanna do some sort of other type of activity and like to get me out of the house and to do something. And obviously ever since I started like my fitness journey and like losing weight and everything, I liked doing something active, but I figured doing dance would be nice cause it's more like of a low impact, kind of like a Pilates which will mix well with my weightlifting because I need to fucking stretch more. I need to stretch more. And it's actually good for like your mobility and stuff for weightlifting. So I'm like, that'd be fabulous. Um, I also really would like to try another type of class, like either sewing or woodworking would be fun, but I'm also gonna be out of Tennessee for like three months. So I have to keep that in mind. I'm not gonna just like sign up for all these classes and then I'm gone. But I wanna try to do things that make me uncomfortable. And if you've ever, 
done some sort of class before, like whether it's like a workout class or why did I put all that concealer on there? I don't really, I don't even need it. Anyways, if you've tried ever like a workout class before, it's like really like intimidating to just like go, you know? Like when I first started working out, like when I decided that I wanted to like lose weight um, a few years ago, because I, fun fact about me, I smoked for like nine years. And then I was like, I need to quit smoking. Like I need to just quit because I just feel like shit. Like this is, it's costing me money literally just to like, you know, smoke a cigarette. And listen, if you still smoke, like, you know, by all means, like I smoked for nine years, who am I to judge? But I just like didn't feel good. I was like getting out of breath. I was like my, I kept on just gaining weight. So I was like, I need to like do something and I quit. And then I was like, well, I need to do an activity because when a lot of times when you quit smoking, you just like eat, you just replace it with eating. So anyways, that's besides the point. So I was too nervous to go to the gym. So I was like, well, I wanted to like try some sort of activity. So I did kickboxing and I really, really liked it. And that was kind of like the start of like my whole fitness um, journey and everything was with like kickboxing and all of that fun stuff. So it was really nerve wracking though. And I am like such an introvert. I have like such bad like anxiety and stuff. So for me to like go and do that was like such a huge accomplishment I feel. And I feel like me doing that with a class, especially in like a new state where it's like, I still don't know a lot of people. I feel like that's good, you know? And then I'll meet like other people that might have like similar interests or, you know, whatever. Cause we are both doing this class together. Another thing that I'm, I really want to start doing, which I actually already started doing it. Um, and I feel like that's kind of like almost like, not the key, but I feel like when you want to do new things or if you have goals for the new year, especially because everyone's like, oh, it's going to be a different year because of it's just like a new year, you know, whatever. I truly feel, and this is like the mindset I'm trying to really like hammer myself into is you are not going to change your year unless you're going to change your mindset and change yourself. Like you need to change yourself. You need to like, you know, put yourself out there into the world, into the universe and just like push yourself a little bit. And then, you know, things will change because you're trying new things. So I got a gratitude journal because I am a negative Nancy. I got a gratitude journal off of Amazon. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, you could literally just get a journal and write things that you're grateful for but it's nice because it outlines um i'll post like a link to what it is in my description box or whatever but i like it because it's you know just a few minutes and it's like what are you thankful for like daily affirmation like what goals do you want to see like you know like what did you learn today like that type of thing and i feel like i need that it's the same exact thing on every single page and it's 90 days so I already started it um, once I got it this week because I'm like, you know, no time like the present. So I figured that would, you know, be just like really good for me to do, to really just help my mindset because I'm trying to have a better mindset for things in the new year because I really don't have like a bad life. I, like I don't, I'm just a miserable person for whatever reason that is, but I'm pessimistic, I guess you could say. Another thing that I just kind of like did and I saw this girl on TikTok mention it and I thought it was a really good idea instead of being like what I want to do for 2023 I put like I will so I'm more I feel like it's like almost like a little bit more determined like it's like oh I'm gonna do this like it's like I got this like this is just a list of things I know I'm gonna do so one of them is you know just like a fitness related thing in the sense of like I want to hit 200 pounds on my deadlift which I got to 180 and I'm so fucking close I can taste that shit so saw this other person uh post on TikTok which I thought was like a really good idea too so they said that they wrote a letter of pretty much like how their year went in the sense of like they they wrote it as if it already happened where it's like oh in 2023 I you know did this and I did this and I like or whatever or like you know this is what happened and then it kind of I guess like almost like a manifestation type of thing but I am like oh that's like that's like nice you know because then you're just like really determined to do it there's so many good things to I feel like to like I don't know, make the New Year's resolutions more achievable because instead of just 
put it like kind of like how my mindset was it's like oh i'm just gonna put it out that like up on a board and it's like or make a vision board and just like never look at it or just be like oh like whatever like it, it's just a new year's resolution most of the time they don't happen like it's my goals this year like it's fucking happening that's where we're at for 2023 it's in a week i'm already starting um to try and make that shit happen in the sense of you know doing my gratitude journal i think i'm even gonna get like an actual journal and just like write down um you know like my thoughts my days if you will i don't know if i should do every single day of 2023 i feel like that would be aggressive um of like just like how i felt that day and i guess that would be more like therapeutic if anything so but i thought about journaling too because i have so many thoughts in my head all the time and i don't have therapy by the way this is the charlotte tilbury um what Jim calls it the complexion boost and i really really like it i i went ahead and i tried the what Jim calls it everything that i have is like what Jim call it there's no the say liquid highlight and i like this but i like the charlotte tilbury complexion boost way more i think in the way that i use it i use it as a liquid highlight i know everybody does the complexion boost all over their face but i just really use it as a liquid highlight um I just that's the way that I feel like it looks really really pretty I mean it looks really pretty the other way but I don't know I just like it and then I layer my blush back on top of it so I'm very big on like the layering techniques in the sense of I you know I don't mind going back and forth like just because you put the product on there doesn't mean you're finished with it sometimes you gotta layer this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics the lip oil like the one of the lip oils that she has and I'm obsessed with these like I need more I have, um, I've mentioned it before, I uh, have the Dior one, and I like the Dior one a lot, but I feel like this one's a little bit more, more like I feel like this one actually moisturizes my lips a little more. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, chit chat get ready with me with my new year's resolutions goals, I should say. And please let me know in the comments below what your goals are for 2023. I don't know if that was like a weird pause, I was just having a thought but I would love to know. We will hold each other accountable. I will do an update video once I sign up for my dance class because I fucking will. Let me know in the comments below if there's classes that you've been wanting to try and you just like haven't done it yet. You know, go for it. The one thing I will say is life is too short to give a shit what other people think of you. Just do it, go for it, you got this. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this was motivational and I will see you in the next one. Subscribe.